Hello everyone, it's Phil with another GOG.com tweet guide. They launched Star Trek the 25th anniversary on the weekend, so I had to buy it. Um, it's got a lot of point and click adventure style elements in it, and apparently it's very good. I've never played it, so I'm really looking forward to uh, playing this properly. Um, but as usual, we can improve the graphics and the sound a little bit. So we're just going to run the game and have a look how it plays out of the box. So we can see that the screen is a little bit small, just uh, just as, as, as normal. The music is definitely FM Synthesis, uh, aka Sound Blaster. Well, the Enterprise's primary mission is people. Captain Patterson reports. Speech is working fine. Controls with the mouse working fine. Okay. Alrighty, let's quit that game and let's start yes, quit the game. tweaking it. Alrighty, let's minimize that. So we go to our uh, GOG. Uh, game folder of the game and open this configuration file here and let's start tweaking full screen resolution set that to your native resolution of your monitor window resolution if you want to play in the window or toggle between full screen and window screen with alt enter make sure you give it a resolution 800 600 works pretty f pretty good output mode instead of surface let's change that to OpenGL. the other option you can use is um, direct draw up here that also works fine. Then under here, aspect ratio correction, we set that to true and we put the scalar to normal 3x. That'll make sure that the image is not stretched uh, horizontally but is in a proper authentic 4x3 aspect ratio. The processor has a cycle speed of maximum that's a little bit high. This game is from, uh, from the 386 486 era, so I recommend something around the 10,000 that should do the job and cycle up cycle down that just means how much by how much it Goes up or down when you press ctrl f11 ctrl f12 You shouldn't be able shouldn't really have a need to do that But in case you want to these are more appropriate then we're going to change uh, the sample rate for the mixer to 48,000 and also for the sound blaster to 48,000 and to improve the music, this game supports uh, Roland MT32. We're going to use the Munt emulator. So after you've installed Munt and you've loaded uh, the ROMs under the ROM configuration menu, we need to set the MIDI config to whatever MIDI device number uh, Munt has on your system. And to do that, you go into your DOSBox folder, run DOSBox, we type in mixer slash list MIDI. So these are all the MIDI devices I've got. And number four is my Munt emulator. So I go back here and number four goes in there. And that's it for the DOSBox config file. We can close that. But there's one more thing we need to do. We need to tell the game not to use a sound blaster, but Roland MD32 instead. So under the Star Trek folder is a launch settings program so we just run that press enter press enter press enter change that to roland sound blaster and enter and that's it we can tweak the game oh, the tweak, sorry game has been tweaked let's run it and make sure everything works fine so this takes a little bit longer because we've changed the cycle speed Now at this part you also have to uh, wait a little bit longer. This is because the game sends information to the Roland MT32, basically uh, programming it. And that just takes a little bit while. Some games do this faster than others. This is one of the slower games. Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Its mission, to explore. Demon World. 
Though the Enterprise's primary mission is peaceful exploration, the galaxy holds many surprises. To be prepared, we are conducting a mock battle with the USS Republic. Captain Patterson reports the Republic is in position. So that's all working fine. We've got a nice big picture. We've got Roland MT32 music. Everything is good to go. So we're going to quit that. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. As always, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. Any comments, leave them down below. Any feedback, yep, feedback, comments, just leave them down below. Thank you.